This year's called Exclusive, Giant Depp returned to Pat's crib and welcomed by producer after actor was axed from lead role over Amber Heard allegations from June 20th, 2024. They've got a video, this guy says a few words, but basically he's saying, I would include everyone, especially Johnny. That's what we got to do. That's what the fans want. And he's right. Now, some Amber fans got a little bit annoyed that this headline is saying, because of Amber, he was fired. And they responded with things like, no, he was drunk. He was late to set. Let's see what we got. Giant Depp has been uncanceled, at least as far as Pirates Reboot is concerned. Screenwriter and producer of the swashbuckling franchise, Terry Ruscio, tells Daily Mail that Depp has cleaned up his act and he would be welcomed back with open arms. In an exclusive, he said he wouldn't even hesitate to bring Johnny back on set despite the allegations and alcoholism against the actor. Which, you know what? If the abuse wasn't in the picture... Do you really think this alcoholism would be such a huge problem? Look, Johnny does drink a lot. A lot of stars do. A lot of musicians and rock stars do. You generally don't see it ruining their career. It's happened here and there. Some people get out of control. But usually, when you're this big, when the franchise is so dependent on your main character, when there's hundreds of millions of dollars, even billions on the line, you think they're not going to wait a little extra time for him to get on the set or something? It's not like they're pinching pennies to pay some overtime people that extra $12 an hour to upkeep the set or something. He's the most important character of the movie. If he's a little late, usually stars of his caliber have that leeway. But I'm no expert in the business. That's just my silly opinion. Ruscio said, the controversial Hollywood star is not the problem for a sequel. It's finding a script and finances. Wait a minute. This little Star Wars show making big news now called The Acolyte. It cost $180 million. So if they could find money to burn on a show like that, that very few people like, I'm sure they've got a little money to bring back Johnny and this Pirates movie. They overspend anyway on production. And he goes on to say, Giant Depp's beloved. And we got to give him altogether a big no shit on that. And again, he repeats, Johnny's not the issue. It's getting a story. Blah, 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 blah. I got to be honest again. A lot of Johnny fans want to see Johnny playing the role, being his good old self, funny, charming. If the story's not great, ah, no one's going to care so much. It's got to be passable. It's got to be good. It's got to be something. Then they say he was nominated for an award. Then he says sometimes it could take up to a decade to get the movie people want made. But it's been about a decade, hasn't it? The last Pirates movie was at least six or seven years ago, if not more. So we're ready. Johnny's got to do it now. He uses Indiana Jones as an example that that movie took 15, 16 years. But from what I remember... The sequels weren't so great. It wasn't what everyone wanted, but okay, fine. He goes on more and more about schedule, availability, creative control, which is, yeah, kind of important because of the, you know, political crap these days, but all right. Ruscio's comments will delight fans given many had petitioned for him to come back after winning his libel trial against ex-wife you-know-who. They go on to say that he won the court case and proved Amber's allegations to be false and with malice. Okay, thank you. Good job. They mention his five-minute standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival, but it was actually seven, not five, but good enough. And they mention Orlando Bloom, Kira Knightley, and McNeely coming back would also be a great thing, and I agree. They talk about Curse of the Black Pearl. Going way back here, guys. We don't need a history lesson, but okay, thank you. As long as it's positive, fine. He also says the proposed Margot Robbie parts might do okay. In my opinion, he could be right. We've got Johnny fans who make up, I don't know, probably 80% of the Pirates fans. But she's got her own following unrelated, so that might pull in, you know, a decent amount. Like all the people that liked her as Barbie might just go see it, regardless of anything. Yeah, he was pretty much saying whatever she does could be amazing. Then this odd comment that 
Again, it's just my opinion, but I wouldn't call it a female version of Pirates. I would call it an expansion and an exploration of the Pirates universe. You can't go up and try to replace what's been done, he said. Well, I mean, it would be if it wasn't something that was trendy for the last decade of having all women and replacing men with women. But since in this current climate, it's a trendy thing to do and everyone's doing it, well, obviously, that's how it will be taken. They include this, it's unrelated, but I guess they'll keep those little member berries out there for whatever reason. And they've got some stuff at the end, which I'm not going to get into, about the pandemic and some vaccination dispute. Who cares? But it's there. Okay, good job, Daily Mail. Anyway, this is just one more producer speaking good of Johnny. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.